Hello and welcome to a new episode of Perfectly Paired with Chef Jim May. And this is a new season. Last year was a, a different year, but it was a lot of fun for cooking and staying at home. This year we're going to do a lot more fun things. This year we're just starting with a soup, which is what we do at the winery. Uh, a lot of people give up alcohol or start exercise. What we do at the winery between the crew and the staff make a different soup every day as kind of a purge and a cleanse and a challenge to do something different. Today I'm going to do my soup which is going to be fed to the crew. Uh, it is a beef barley soup with uh, butternut squash and uh, it's got it's got stew meat or um, chuck steak, veg, winter vegetables, carrots, celery, onions, all the basic mirepoix that you would normally have. Um, you take your steak, which looks much like this one, and you want to cut it into small pieces, or about a half inch to one inch, and then you will just salt and pepper it and brown it off. This, this is part of it, I've already browned off some of it, and you just want to cut it off, you can get rid of some of the fat. Um, a lot of the, the fat will, will disappear because you don't cook it for an hour, hour and a half. You just salt and pepper it. You put it in a hot pan with a little bit of oil and it comes out like this. Um, I've already done this and then in the same pan I've taken these vegetables that I've, I've diced up carrots, onions, celery and garlic and I, I diced it up and put it in the same pan while it's hot and it's, it's going to cook until it's soft and brown. It takes about six, eight minutes. And then I'm going to remove these vegetables and put them in another pan, combine the stock and the um, broth and herbs and meat and cook it for about an hour and 15, hour and 30 minutes until the meat is nice and tender. Now, I recommend a beef stock, but in this particular day, you can mix and match. So I'm putting half beef stock and half chicken stock. Now barley, barley is a, a grain, it's actually a grass that's much like rice. You can, it's, 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 there's a pearl barley and a whole barley. This happens to be hulled, which is like, it's like brown rice and white rice. The outer hull is taken off, it, it's a little more tender, it's definitely a nutty, uh, chewy, delicious, that takes on the flavor of whatever you're cooking it in. But this, this is um, pearled and it's, it's a delicious, healthy, it's good for cholesterol, it's good for heart disease, it's got all kinds of B vitamins in it, and it's good to eat too. So the vegetables have softened. I'm gonna put a, a couple tablespoons of tomato paste in there to give it some, some depth and some umami. I'm gonna stir till it coats. And they're just starting to brown, the vegetables. And rather than cook them for the hour and a half, which kind of cooks them to pieces, I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna put the meat and the broth and the herbs together. I'm just gonna, and I'm just gonna add this for the last half hour along with the other ingredients. But here I'm gonna add the brown meat and all the juices. I'm gonna add, this is, this is actually chicken bone broth. So it's a little richer than your normal chicken broth. And like I said, you can use a combination of both, but um, I mean, if, if you like, uh, the beef broth is gonna be a little bit richer, and uh, the chicken lightens it up a little bit, which I like with the, with the wine. So this soup, as I, as I assembled it, this is gonna simmer for an hour and 15 minutes, and we're gonna pair it today with the Peters Vineyard. It's the 18 vintage. It's really starting to get some nice complexity. I'm gonna add a little thyme here. This is dry thyme. If you're going to use fresh, use twice as much. And I'm going to put in a couple bay leaves. And we'll let this simmer for about an hour, hour and a half. That'll tenderize the meat. Then we will add the, the, the mirepoix, the, the sauteed vegetables. I've diced up some butternut squash. So it, it this kind of gives it a little more vegetarian, a little more, little more uh, profile of fruit and and vegetables and then we're going to put in the barley with that because that's only take about 20-25 minutes to cook as well as this 
and some tomatoes, and that'll do it. And we'll cook that until we're ready to serve. Then we will put it uh, with the Peter's Pinot um, and drizzle in a little bit of nice uh, balsamic vinegar, vinegar um, either a glaze or just some really good balsamic that you might have. But we'll bring that to a simmer and uh, continue on with uh, the rest of the uh, ingredients. So we sear it off. We sear off the meat so it gives it another layer of flavor. Um, it's, it's tough meat like right now, but in like an hour and 15 minutes, it'll be tender. And then we finish it with another 20, 30 minutes with the other vegetables. And the, the this will puff up. Um, it'll almost make it, like I said, it'll, it's like rice. It'll double, triple in size and it'll give a nice nuttiness, uh, nice texture, and, uh, and, and it's healthy, believe it or not. It's actually been um, cultivated longer than rice. It's been cultivated for about 11,000, 12,000 years uh, in West, uh, West uh, Europe and, and uh, Africa. And it's, it's, um, it's really healthy. Well, this is uh, this is like white rice. It's not quite as healthy as the whole version, which is takes more time to cook and is more brown. But it's still very good for you. It has all the health effects that the other one did. At the winery this month, we are actually bottling uh, two of our varietals. Uh, one of them is going to be our rosé of Pinot, which I've had the honor to try, and it is delicious, absolutely spectacular wine. And also our very limited Dry Creek Valley Zinfandel which again, is very limited. We do a small production of both. They're both bottled the same day. And uh, I'll be feeding the crew, that, but not from this soup. I'm gonna do lasagna. <laughs> but anyway, um, it, it, the, the 2021 harvest was really, really good. There were no fires, there were no, no disasters. Uh, great long harvest, growth flavor profiles. You'll be tasting some really spectacular wines. Uh, Wine Club just got the 20 vintage, which again is a, a really a completely same style, same vineyards, uh, actually a little more lush and just delicious wines. I, I did one uh, in the newsletter, which the uh, pork meatballs with a peanut sauce with our 777 from the 2020 vintage. And it's, it's a good pairing, a little bit off the wall, but it, it it's, it, it just shows the versatility of uh, the Pinot Noirs that we do. So this year we have some new partners that we're excited about. One is Truffle Shuffle, which is a local company that supplies truffles. And they're doing a variety of different truffles virtually on uh, with cooking classes and with our wine. And uh, that'll be in our, uh, on our website, uh, along with other of the fan favorites like the Paint and Sip. Our lobster, as I mentioned, our lobster feed is gonna be planned for later in the year. Um, bingo is happening, um, lots of events, as well as our, our ongoing everyday open uh, tastings at the winery. On the patio, we have a new uh, revamped patio. Uh, it's by reservation, so go online and get the reservations in, and you have a beautiful view of Dry Creek Valley, and you get a flight of our wines, and it's can't be beat. It's a delicious, um, I know I sat out there myself and, and had pinots and it's a, a beautiful view. So our meat and broth and herbs have been simmering for about an hour and 15 minutes. Now to finish off the soup, I'm going to add our diced up uh, butternut squash, which is a nice, nice, it break, breaks it up a little bit more. I'm getting one can of diced tomatoes, our pre-cooked and softened vegetables, which has got the tomato paste in it. And then we're gonna add almost a cup of barley. And this again is the pearl. If you use whole, just give it, you know, plan accordingly that it's gonna take another 20, 25 minutes to cook. And this is going to, I'm gonna keep this, I'm gonna simmer it for 20, 25 minutes. Everyone will keep its integrity as far as the vegetables and the meat will be nice and tender and the barley will be plump and nutty and delicious. Goes great with the Peters, which has this this lovely, like, lots of cherry, lots of body to it. Uh, it's one of my favorite wines. And like I said, it's the first wine that we ever uh, released commercially at the winery. We've been getting the fruit for 21 years now. And it's the coolest vineyard. The fruit is the last to come in because it's closer to the coast. So it has longer hang time. It has more um, uh, bright cherry to it. And it just, it's just a, a lovely, lovely wine. 
And our Peters is also uh, makes up half of the Pomard Cone along with our Laris Vineyard, but it makes 100% of our Makaita, which is our high end, available only to wine club members. But it's the most amazing wine that we make, and they're all pretty amazing. This is our prepared soup. It's cooked down. All the olive barley's cooked out. The vegetables are tender. The meat is super tender. We're gonna give. Uh, this usually makes enough for six people. So it starts with about a pound and a half, two pounds of of um, chuck roast. So there's a couple things. I always garnish it with a little parsley just to make it a little more interesting. And this is a little addition you can do. This is a really lovely uh, balsamic. You can also use balsamic glaze. But you give it a little bit of a sprinkle of that, just a little twirl. It gives a little sweetness and a, just a whole new dimension of flavor that, that ties in with the, with the wine. Add a little bit of bread on the side. You can toast it or you can just have it with a little butter, but it's great dipped in the sauce. Pour a little bit of wine. And there's your wintertime meal.